the equation of sides of a triangle having 3 comma minus 1 as a vertex and x minus 4y plus 10 equals to 0 and 6x plus 10y minus 59 is 0 as angle bisector and as median respectively drawn from different vertices r. Now we have been given that there is a triangle in which 3 comma minus 1 is one vertex and from b and c we have drawn an angular bisector and a median respectively that's the meaning of drawn from different vertices now we have to find out the equations of sides cab bc and ac now in the last video we have solved this problem taking it as a multiple choice question or objective question now in this session we will solve this as a subjective question that means we will not consider any one of the options whatever we have been given so we will not consider these options, we will just solve it only with this particular information whatever we have. Now let us look at what is the information given to us. We have been given that this line is a median and we also know this is angular bisector. So we will use midpoint formula to find out the coordinates of B and we will use angular bisector or angle between two straight lines formula to find out the slope of BC so that we can find out the coordinates of C. Once we know ABC coordinates, now we can easily find out the sides AB, BC and AC. So let us go ahead and start. First we will consider B as X1, Y1. Now, what will be the coordinates of midpoint of AB, which let us say is equal to D and this is equal to E. So, what will be the coordinates of D? Let us write down. Coordinates of D will be by midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 that is x1 plus 3 by 2 comma y1 minus 1 by 2. Now, we know that B is a point on BE, B is a point on BE, we know that, so we can write down, substituting x1, y1, x1 minus 4, y1 plus 10 equals to 0. Similarly, we know that D is a point on CD. So, we can substitute D point on CD equation that is 6 into x1 plus 3 by 2 plus 10 into y1 minus 1 by 2 minus 59 equals to 0 which when we simplify 2 will go 3 times 2 will go 5 times so, we will have 3x1 plus 5y1 plus 9 minus 5 plus 4 minus 59 that is minus 55 equals to 0. Now, you can see that we have two equations to solve. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Let us go ahead and solve these two equations so that we can get the coordinates of B. Let us go ahead and do that. To solve these two equation so that we can find out the coordinates of B. So, let us go ahead. I will use substitution method. I will say x1 equals to 4 y1 minus 10 and that I will substitute here. I will have 3 into 4 y1 minus 10 plus 5 y1 minus 55 equals to 0. Simplify that. I will have 17 y1 minus 85 equals to 0. That will give me y1 equals to 5. So, I know the next one equals to 4 y 1 minus 10 that is 4 into 5 minus 10 which is equals to 10. So, we know x 1 comma y 1 are now 10 comma 5. Once we got the coordinates of B, now let us focus that this angle A B E is equal to angle C B E. So, we know slope here, we know slope here, we do not know slope. So, we can use angle between two lines formula and find out the slope of B C. Once we know slope of B C and we know the point, we can find out the equation of B C. 
then we can solve bc and cd to find out the coordinates of c once we got coordinates of c then it is pretty simple all the equations we can easily find out because we have two points or we have a slope and a point so let's go ahead now and we will use that concept that uh, in angular by bi angular bisector divides an angle into two equal parts so we can write down angle abe is equal to angle cbe but what is angle abe for that we want to use the formula tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 we need to know now the slopes of these lines let us see what is the slope of ab m of ab is minus we have to do y2 minus y1 minus 1 minus 5 divided by 3 minus 10 which is equal to 6 by 7 slope of be is equal to minus of a by b that is minus 1 by minus 4 which is equal to 1 by 4 let us say slope of bc equal to m so we have slope of AB, BE and BC. Now we can substitute in the formula. We can write down slope angle ABE is angle between AB and BE. So AB slope is 6 by 7. So I can write down 6 by 7 minus 1 by 4 divided by 1 plus 6 by 28 equals to angle CBE that is between BC and BE. which is we can write it as m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 now we can solve this then we can find out slope of bc so let us simplify that simplifying we will have 17 by 28 divided by 34 by 28 equals to 1 minus 4m divided by 4 divided by m plus 4 divided by 4 we will have 1 by 2 equals to 1 minus 4 m divided by m plus 4 we can simplify that we will have 2 minus 8 m equals to m plus 4 or we have 9 m equals to minus 2 or m equals to minus 2 by 9 so that means we know m of bc is minus 2 by 9. once we know coordinates of b and slope of bc we can easily find out equation of bc so what will be equation of bc y minus y1 y minus 5 equals to what's the formula we are using slope intercept form y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 so we will have y minus 5 equals to minus 2 by 9 into x minus 10 we can simplify that 9y minus 45 equals to minus 2x plus 20 or we can write down 2x plus 9y minus 65 equals to 0 so we got the equation of bc as 2x plus 9y minus 65 equals to 0. Now we know equation of BC, we know equation of CD. Solving that we will get point C. Then we can easily find out the equation of AB and AC because we have points ABC coordinates. So let's go ahead and now and find out the e coordinates of point C. So let down solving BC and CD to get coordinates of C. What is equation of BC? 2x plus 9y minus 65 is 0. What is equation of CD? 6x plus 10y minus 59 is 0. Multiply this with 3. 
will have 6x plus 27y minus 195 equals to 0 and we will have here 6x plus 10y minus 59 equals to 0 minus minus plus cancel 17y minus 136 equals to 0 that will give us y equals to 8 once we got y equals to 8 we can find out x value 2x equals to 65 minus 9 into y that will be x equals to minus 7 by 2 so the coordinates of c are minus 7 by 2 comma as we know coordinates of a b and c we can easily find out now equations of a b and a c let's find it out equation of a b we will write down here and equation of a c we will write down here we already got b c as 2x plus 9y minus 65 now two point formula so y minus y1 i will write down y plus 1 equals to slope we need to find out that is 5 plus 1 divided by 10 minus 3 into x minus x1 that is x minus 3 so we have 7 y plus 7 is equal to 6 x minus 18 or we will have 6 x minus 7 y minus 25 equals to 0 now let's find out equations of a c for that we will use a and c so we'll have y plus 1 equals to slope we need to find out 8 plus 1 divided by minus 7 by 2 minus 3 into x minus 3 simplify this we'll have y plus 1 equals to 9 divided by minus 13 by 2 so I think we can write it as minus 18 by 13. Simplify that and check into x minus 3. That will give us 13y plus 13 equals to minus 18x plus 54. Or we can write it as 18x plus 13y minus 41 equals to 0 so that is equation of AC so we found out the equations of ABBC and AC let's have a summary of this particular problem what we have done in the last session we have solved this problem taking it as a multiple choice question or an objective question where we have options A, B, C, D when we have the options there is no point in doing this particular method because now you want to do the problem solve the problem in quickest time then you have to utilize all your resources there is no point in doing the subjective method when it is an objective question now in this session we focused only on the subjective way of dealing with this problem so two important concepts we have to remember one is midpoint formula another is angular bisector so median midpoint formula angular bisector angle between two lines a b and b e and b c and b e is equal because b e is angular bisector now we started with taking b coordinates as x comma y then we found out the coordinates of d because we know c d is the median d should be midpoint of a b once we got the coordinates of b we solved for b e b on b e and d on c d two equations we got solved them to find out the coordinates of b once we find the coordinates of P, we have used that angle ABE equals to angle CBE. By applying angle between two lines formula, we are able to find out the slope of BC. Once we got the slope of BC and coordinates of B, we know already coordinates of B. So we are able to find out the equation of BC. Now solving BC and CD gave us the coordinates of point C. Now once we have coordinates of all the three points, it's very easy. We can find out the equation of the sides of the triangle. So that's how we can solve this problem in a subjective way. So yesterday when I solved it in an objective way, one question which was raised is, okay, it doesn't seem to be, you know, 
right because you are just solving taking the options into consideration and solving so i just thought that you know let me share with you we can solve it in subjective way also but remember you have to utilize the, all the resources whatever you have there is no point in you doing by this method when you already have the multiple choice questions honestly that's what i feel thank you once again i'll see you in the next session